Sound. Computer, computer, microphone, video, sound, on. Hey, 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 it's fat. Nah, fat Albert. That was terrible. Hey, 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 it's me again. I am coming to you for a video shoot. No, 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 no. That is no, 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 no. I don't even know what the fuck to do. Camera fucking skew. Oh, right, you're right, Dave. Oh, Dave, you're right. You want to do a podcast with me, Dave? Oh, yeah, Dave. Oh, no, don't worry, mate. We'll just do a quick segment in it. We will just do a quick segment of podcasting before the world ends. How are all of you doing? I don't know what I'm saying, I just... But I'm back for an episode of four. That's eight. Uh, back for an episode of four. Ah, number four of the lunchtime podcast. I don't know why I'm talking like an American. New widget awaits. I don't care about that new widget though. Lunch is coming on and you're about to spit the sickest flow. You can't even see the way he's gonna fucking move. Capture the screen. It's capturing. So we're on TikTok. You can see my page now. Scroll down. Scroll up. All right. So what's happening on TikTok? TikTok. Look at this, guys. So I made a video. Look at this. Ripped it. 9,000 views. I made a video with regards to this female. I don't know if I should feel bad, I don't know if I should feel, I don't give a fuck, but basically, she made this video, she made this video saying that the black scent was bad and racist, I made a video saying it wasn't, and the guy under siege, Justin Goldstone, made his career off TikTok with this accent, and he has He does it really well. Now apparently he's made some problematic videos and his content is problematic. From everything I've seen with regards to this fellow TikToker has been clean other than the one where he said the N-word. I did see that. Wasn't the greatest idea. He since apologized. But there's just... It was almost a civil war in my garden in these comments like we're not gonna read them but because it's all negative and it's everyone just shouting at each other and da 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 and we don't wanna see that shit I understand it was me who enticed it all because of just made a video shitting on a tiktoker I think his name is Justin um, for his accent his African woman accent his black woman accent not <laughs> Actually, I'm fine. I don't know why this is a problem for this woman. No, but seriously, she says it's racist. I don't get the racist part. Yeah, I stand by by my point, obviously, because I don't see the racist part with her her African accent. Because there are plenty, plenty of people in Africa with plenty, plenty different accents. And we must understand that when we do this accent... It's just out of love and nothing racist behind it. No second agenda, no nothing. Nothing. It's like nothing. Only fun, only comedy, only love, nothing. You think I would do this accent if I did not like the black people? You think I would do this with a smile on my face? Foot sack. It's, there's no malicious intent behind what I've just done and I did that to to prove if you and people say yes they get offended 
because it's mocking a group of people, reinforcing stereotypes. That's not... If that is your intention for doing the accent, then by all means, you're a racist. But if your intention when you do the accent is merely to make other people and yourself laugh and to have some fun, then all these sour people are blah, 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 blah. It's racist. You make him... Like there was this one comment. Was it on this video? It was like... Doing this accent makes like African women feel unintelligent. It's to re reinforce those stereotypes or I shouldn't do that. Those stereotypes and agendas with regards to black people. Um, but I just don't see it. People just want to see the bad. People just want the bad to be there. And whenever there's a chance for like, oh my God, this is tiny bit controversial because that touches with this social aspect of or social issue. Can of worms. All the time, you'll see it in every every corner of the internet, and that is, it's toxic, it's in our human nature, whatever. All we can do is really just make podcasts about it, and um, yeah, okay, guys, you can see how much this microphone is pissing. No idea what I was talking about before the phone rang, and the phone cut off the video, but, oh yes, my microphone is pissing me off. But that's not actually what I was talking about this video now yeah it was very it was very mixed plus some people support some people hate i really just didn't spew hate i deleted the two videos i made after this video because i feel like i was a tad bit mean and I didn't really. I don't really want to be spreading hate and negativity on my page, but I do feel that this needed to be said because this girl loves to nitpick little social issues. Pick, 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 nit, nit, nit. She loves to do it, and she the smallest issues, not even issues, and she makes them such issues. And she's got she's got a nice healthy following with regards to support on these issues, which is. Ugh, it's a bit, it's a bit weak. I don't know, people just fucking love, people just fucking love drama. And I haven't been, I'm not one to shy away from controversy every now and then. And I'll admit that because I can get controversial. But don't come here with an accent as racist because... I mean, and so many so many comments about um, 400 years of oppression or do not know apartheid. And of course, of course, I know these, these hardships. And of course, of course, the effects are still there. But now, I don't even know how to articulate what I'm trying to say because at the end of the day, black people are still people. And I'm going to say this again so people don't get confused and take words out of my mouth. Black people are always at, scratch that, edit. Black people are and will always be regular people like you, like me, like my sister. Like your sister, like your brother, your mother, your auntie, your uncle. We are all the same fucking thing. We're all skin, bone, muscle, carbon, bone marrow, fucking arteries. Black is literally what you see on the surface. So when I do an African accent, if you call me, like there's so many comments calling me racist. Where do you suck that from? Anyway, my point is, the African accent, to imitate it, is not accent, accent, is not racist. And I can prove this to you because there's a Nigerian accent, there's a Ghanaian accent, there's a this accent, all of which the people who speak with the accent, they are all black, but yet they all talk with a different accent. So we can call it an African accent. That's not even accurate. So 
when I do a South African accent, one of 11, it is not racist. It is simply the imitation of an accent. Where it becomes racist is the content in which you display with this accent. I hope that all makes sense, English. If it doesn't, interpret what you can. Please do not misinterpret me because, ugh, whatever, nothing I say will stop anyone from doing anything. So, no. Where was I? Oh, yeah, that video. Um, oh, yes, then I got this comment on a completely separate video. I posted a preview of my podcast three, which you should probably go watch if you haven't watched this one, because everything we touch on in this one was discussed last week, and it's almost like a follow-up of it. So pause, go watch that. And come back here, you'll realize that this podcast has nothing to do with that podcast, but you've still given me the views of that podcast, so I'm very appreciative. Now, this video, someone just comments because they're angry with me for absolutely no reason, because there's absolutely nothing to them, but they comment, Ashley, please put your hand in the blender. Ashley, you don't even know me, but I'll be sure to demonstrate in our next podcast. Stay tuned. So here we are. Next podcast. Unfortunately, we do not own a blender. How can you not own a blender? The most essential kitchen item in the We do not own a blender. I'm sorry for the disappointment, Ashley. If you would love to deliver me a blender, I live at this address. I'm not going to say it because then I have Molotov cocktails coming at me. But... If you would love to bring me a, a blender, I would love to receive a blender. Thank you very much. Escape. Excalibur. What else? Um, I was messaged on Instagram. Instagram. Instantgram. Because you can instantaneously place a photo on the line. And it's different because instantaneously upload a photo on the line. Instantaneously upload a photo on the line. How do I change my account? There you go, log out. Right, log back in, please, man. Log in. Thank you very much. I just watched Sherlock for the third time. I binged it in about a week. Wow, what a show. What a show, Benedict Cumberbatch, and what's your other, what's his friend's name? Martin Friedman. Insane performances. But we all know this because we've all watched Sherlock. If you haven't, please stop watching this podcast because if you have offended me. Because you've ever offended me. You've ever offended me. You're so weird, Dean. That's all I hear from my sister. Oh, you're so weird, Dean. Can I not see my messages? Can I not see my messages? Can I not see more messages? No, I can't. Oh, I can. I can. Timony McAdam. My name is definitely not Timony. Probably is. Timony McAdam. It's a cool name, Timony. Who do you want me to listen to? Dutchavelli. Like Machiavelli. YouTube. Is it like Machiavelli? Dutchavelli. Yeah. I'm going to listen. Timony, I'm going to listen to Dutchavelli if only you knew. It looks like his most watched video. Ooh, closely with, I don't know, with Stormzy. We're going to actually listen to that afterwards. But let's go to the channel. I don't I think I may have heard him because I do listen to Grime. I love a bit of Grime. Oof. And this is about Grime Daily and they love a good banger. Pick up my boy, 
Yeah, and there's a beat in the background that just sounds fucking so nice. I'll back to back, I'll do you, blood. Mega Mary, Mega Mary. Christian the audio. I thought that was Eddie Hearn Look in the background there, Eddie Hearn Oh Ooh. <laughs> Shout out to my fucking rabbis, man. <laughs> Rapping for the Israelis. Oh. Nelson Mandela. Dirty, dirty, dirty bass. Dirty, a fucking dirt. This is dirty bass. I can't really, like, some of the words I'm catching. His accent's well heavy, but I'm trying to catch some bars. But I heard Nelson Mandela because obviously I'll catch that name. I think he said I'm behind the elves, like Nelson Mandela or something. I'm assuming mean that I've been to prison. Like Nelson Mandela, he was talking about Didier Drogba, he was making some football references on the wing, like Sanya. I think he said Sanya, but Sanya wasn't. Sanya was a, a right back, left back, right back. No, left back or right back. One of them. I see mom cry tears of joy when I told her I don't sell white. Ooh, mama proud of the son, proud of the son. Of course I lied, ah, show you my strip, get my whip, let's go on a drive. Things that didn't need back roads, can't put no ends to life. Last year I was looking at life, got nicked by Scotland, you're with the fours and girls go do the crime. Trust, all even you I do for the guys. Of course you don't. Mom said son, don't ruin your life. Ah, put on this mom's doggy. Chase that jack in the hide. Way before wipes and bricks of white. It was put bags and kitchen knives. Ah, get round there for day and get round there at night. Ah, burn this trip if I have to. I don't think that countless times. I don't know what you know about the band or bro got rich off the county. Happy 420, happy 420, happy 420. Just looked at the clock and I should be smoking the doobie. <laughs> Oof. This is hard. This is hard. Hard bars. The speed is rapping. It is rapping. Oh, I see. I can't do that. Only if you knew do for decent house and a plate of food. That was fret. That was bang, bang, one, two, three in the floor. Goldberg come in straight through the door. That was hard as fuck. Okay, so I want to listen to the Stormzy track. Tian Wayne, Tams, Dutchville, Tams, Stormzy, Minus, I don't know, in brackets, Tams music, Tams video, divided by Graham Daily equals a fucking banger. Welcome to lockdown level three. Calling Black Label 
champion challenge. EQ has formed. Last player in the line. Are you man? Are you run from there? Touch my watch. Are you man? Are you run from there? What did we do? Did the touch on there? Yo, one up. Are you man? Are you run from there? Yo, one up. 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 Yo, one do got the whack, no safety. Lauren, Stacy, Mad Mix, Crazy, who dip up niggas daily. Should I cuff me spence? Give up, babies. Mm -mm. Maybe, nine boys, crazy. Bad big up, that's me in Emerton. But I heard they got police intelligence. Call it no chef, cause he's irrelevant. Free four, that's me in Emerton. My young boys who hold on. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, me if like, anything. Mm -mm. Snatchy. Mm -mm. This is obviously Tian Wei. And he's repping it. He's flowing nasty. He's eater element. He's an eater element. Eater the eater the element. Don't think I don't do four day in the chat with a square of press. I just bought a thousand grams in the clamp. I went mad in that pen and tell her. Fat is Dutch. I was broke. Back when I had a free for Ella. Yeah, put three and a half on his whack. Move back. I know that's that chivalry. Excuse my ignorance, mate. Jenna, Jenna, what's good, brother? I just got a drop on both my ups. I'm about to get both of them down as well. No. No, right, that was, that was Tian and now it's Dutcherville. Man's, man's not going to mistake my favourite favorite ball, but it's our Stormzy, innit? Yeah, this is Tian. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, wait, ask, no, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Get out of here, fam. Can't stand your fam. Stormzy ripped it. Stormzy ripped it. M, where are you, M? Nah, we're not gonna talk to M. We're not talking to M and M. Here is a a shesh bash piece. Let's run that back. Let's run that back. Let's run that all the way back to the start of Stormzy's run. I don't know. 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 Is he sending for me? I don't know. When I'm where they're self first speak, I don't know. When they ask for the fee, let them know that's 1.5. Woo! Little nigga, that's millions, not thousands. Stormzy the goal, but they really been doubting. Came off line, I've been chilling in mountains. How about you, bro? Really sell albums. Wait, look. Shots for the shoe don't fit, can't flex on me with a boot on Yes, 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 yes. We all know that I'm stupid rich. still get love from all the Yes, Stormzy, Stormzy ripped it, are you right? I don't know. But I don't know. Yo, touch my watch, get dead up, shell up, come here, pick your friend up. Oh, bang him up in a visit in front of his missus. Oh, oh, man, go vicious. What did he say? Bang him up in a visit in front of his missus, also vicious. I can't even say that shit, I'm missing. The bars are the do this shit, go becoming with the bars and they move the script. Oh, 
I'm feeling a little bit nauseous. That was too wavy. Too wavy, I'm feeling so sick. So sick, mate. Feeling fucking seasick. What are the comments? One of the hardest fucking... <laughs> One of the hardest fucking gram songs I've heard in a while. One of the hardest. Oi. Did any of you listen to this? I know we all know, we all obviously know the original. But did we listen to the remix? I'm just gonna wait for the break. Oh no, let's listen to the whole thing, because it's fire as fuck. Lane's killed it. Oh, I got five chicks in New York, that means one in each barrow. That's hard, but you only got one in each. You gotta get those threesomes in, Jack. When I'm back home, they treat me like Robert De Niro. So good to talk about when I'm back home, they treat me like Robert De Niro. He's the Godfather. Girl, took her home, gave her a cinnamon swirl. I left it in, now I got a one euro. Zeros on zeros on zeros. That's what my bank account balance say. I got a check from. Are you broke? You broke? Jack Carlo is broke? No, he's not, cause they're probably a one somewhere in there. I don't know why. I am doing this American accent. I don't know why, man. Here's another shesh besh piece. And I've got plenty more where that came from. Company not do anything in New Balance State. I bought her a plane to get out of state. I got me a shorty from Runaway. Said I'm in town today. She said she coming over and she down to stay. I got a hit. She been playing that shit. So when she pull up on me, I know what she about to say. What's poppin'? Brand new whip, just hopped in. I got options. I can pass that bitch like Stockton. Just joshing. I'm spending this holiday locked in. My body got rid of them toxins. Baby. Calling my bitch, tell her bring me that noggin. Brain real good, she's scholar. I like it with low mileage. Good brain with no college. Call me the baby, no baby. I'm real creative and style. F in my denim. I send that hit, make a spin them. And I just flew back from LA on the jet yesterday. I go back and forth like I play tennis. I fuck with your hoe, yeah. I feel for it. Still on the billboard, the number one song in your Woo! And now they got some fucking rich. All these awesome and dick. I still don't give a fuck with you. Baby. Baby. I just put up in the Batmobile. The reason I ain't fucking with these rap ass niggas. Oh, you see how he just. That's the thing with the baby. He's a new cat and he's got this new age flow. But he rips it. He rips it. How do you flip up that switch in the flow? Flip up the switch in the flow. You know, I'm sweeping the fit in the flow. And look how he switches it up. And it's very subtle. If I'm not. If I, if I heard probably very subtle. But it does something. It like. It's like an. It just like shifts the. The, the, your focus, like it. Listen, I'm real creative and style. F in my denim. I send a hit, make a spin. And I just flew back from LA on the jet yesterday. I go back and forth like I play tennis. I fuck with your hoe, yeah. I feel for it. Still on the billboard, the number one song in UK. And now they got so fucking rich. All these awesome dick. I still don't give a fuck what you say. She eat it like a Pat Man, nigga. Whoop a nigga like I'm Batman, nigga. I just put up in the Batmobile. Did, did you hear? Yeah, he, that is that is the sickest switch I've ever sicked. Listen, hit it with the Batman, hit him in the Batman bill. What did he say? So he's going here, he's going here, he's going here. No, he's still going, he's still going. Straight, he's going straight. Now he turns. You hear, you hear. That was. Take it easy. I'm rocking water, diamonds need a squeeze. These niggas water down, they drink a fee. My whip is orange and brown like I'm a Cleveland. My bitch is mellow, yellow like a soda. These niggas title tell us I'm a soldier. Hey, somebody tell them niggas better so you know it's baby, nigga. What's poppin'? Brand new whip just hoppin'. I got options. I'm a passive bitch like Stockton. Ladies! Daughter, she calling me daddy. I'm somebody father. I gotta go kiss it. I when I go kiss it. I put my lips on it like somebody bought it. A diamond and glacier. The card in the wallet. She put up the fuck me, but nobody caught it. She told me that she wasn't feeling my music. I fought it. She told me it's nobody harder. And I'm with the G ski. I need that shit for the free ski. We are not buying no pussy. You sell it on Peace Street. It's so much work on my celly. I had to go tell all my bitches. Email it to reach me. All in my DM. I'll follow your BM. She played with the crow ski. We used to fuck on the low ski. She used to lie on my bed and go lie to your face and say I'm just a bro. The song from minute north, comma, north, north, north. It has banged. The original banged, and this is banging even harder.
Now, I've listened to this song twice already. This is my third time, and it's banging even harder. They have not, not one of them, from Jack to Little Baby to Tory Lanez, has not dropped the pace once. Not even once. And if memory serves correct, Little Wayne does not drop the ball even once. And they go hard for fucking three and a half, four minutes. You ain't believe it, you wanted to toast me I had it steady as long as a ruler in case you was cooling and wanna approach me Dropped the Bentega, came back in the cullin' and she wanna fuck again I want that tongue again, stuck it so reason And I don't stop Lanes are just again, insane run again, run again, running in diamonds, they illuminating the way that I come again I just put so many pennies on the watch and I don't never got a stun again Nigga look toy What's poppin'? Canada. Brand new whip, just hopped in Ooh. I got options, I can pass that bitch like Stockton just joshing. I'm spending this holiday logged in. My body got rid of them toxins. Now comes Weezy. Weezy's a goat. Before anyone says anything, you can tune me all of you want. I am a hip hop connoisseur. I love it. You cannot, you cannot, I can't even pronounce it properly because you can't even anyway. You cannot tell me Weezy's not a goat. In the top 10. Uh, what's bracken? Brand new whip, new mansion. Woo! Tips, new dances. Same old dick, new magnum. Same old shit, new maggots. Same old throne, new dragons. Same same old whip, new mansion. Brand new whip, new mansion. Brand new whip, new mansion. Brand new tips, new dance. Brand new tips, new dances. Same old dick, new magnum. Same old dick, new magnum. Same old shit, new maggots. Same old shit, new maggots. What? Same old throne, new dragons. Same old throne, new dragons. Same old shit, but there are new fucking obstacles and new shit all the time. Weezy is a girl. Same old strong, new ashes. I can pass that bit like magic. Yeah, I ain't capping, I'm lit, I'm active. Yeah, look, five and it bit like packs. I can pass that shit like magic. So, obviously, Jack Harlow goes, I can pass that shit like Starkin. Yeah, Starkin. Starkin. I can pass that shit like Starkin. Stockin. We all know Stockin from the Chicago Bulls back in the 90s. And now Little Wayne says I can pass that shit like magic. Magic Johnson in the 80s and the 70s. John is like Apple Jack. I sell a bit dream put tax on that. Let's slam that bit that slap and slap the bumpers roll that black on black. Yeah, nine nine problem. Not the same. Numbers don't lie, it's the Apple Mac. Yeah, what's poppin'? Poppin'. Brand new phone just dropped it. Oh, <laughs> Weezy, you dropped your new iPhone. And it probably cracked because they trash. And they probably designed to do that. But not mine. What's poppin'? Poppin'. Brand new phone just dropped it. Fuck it, I got options. I got options. <laughs> I got options, I bust out a couple Apple Watches, that's so sick, so I dropped my phone and cracked, but I got options, I bust out a couple Apple Watches. I put the ball in the end zone, put a bad bitch in a friend zone. Hoo, hoo. I'm a bust all in the skin tone, I've been messed up as Ken Jones. Hoo, hoo. Dark hair bitch like she go, I like I'm blind like me though, although I'm dying called Leo, I was still slide like Neo, keep all around my pre-roll, New Orleans nigga I'm Creo, she say bitch does it hurt when I deep throw, I just better not for your T-ho. What's poppin'? Brand new whip, just hopped in. I got options. I can pass that bitch like Stockton. I can tell you something. I'm proud of Jack Harlow for what he's done with this song. Because Gregory Gordon, shout out to the big boss Greg Gordon, showed me this little motherfucker a couple years ago. He was like, keep your eye out for this guy. This geyser. This geyser. Keep your eye out for this geyser. And I have. And I've kept my ears wide open. And now he has a song with Tory Lanez, The Baby, and Lil Wayne. I mean, it's truly incredible. It truly is incredible. That is the dream. Dream big, Dr. Dre. Will you please sign me to fucking Aftermath? Just joshing. I'm spending this holiday locked I'm just joshing. Everybody got rid of them toxins. Sports in the top ten. Yeah, and for sure, I just saw No Love Shack's um, title, Wheezy Goes Last, Always the Goat Goes Last, and everybody knows this. Everybody knows this. Everybody knows, everybody knows, everybody knows! And did you hear Kanye's new song? I thought his second verse was cool. I also thought that 
he should have given Travis a bit more shine, but I don't know about Travis and how um, connected to God he is, but it sounded very religious, this track, Watch Us in the Blood, um, Lord, please come down, save us. Wheezy had a banging, um, Wheezy, yay, had a fucking banging verse. Um, the second verse first. It's, it was weird. It was weird. It always is with Kanye though. Um, it always is weird. With it. Okay, all of this shit's bullshit. Currently, I'm moving on. Um, South Africa's biggest fear. Need a I want a girl in the village I doing alright. <laughs> what are you? <laughs> if you guys. Need a substitute. No, 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 no. Jacob, you can stay far away from any substitute positions you may find yourself coming into contact with, and you can just stay in Nkandla and just watch the country burn. This guy's unreal. Go, go. Hey, 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 Oh, 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 is the greatest character an infrastructure that has ever played in Hollywood. But globally, and I call him a character because there's no way he's a real person. It quickly, respond to it quickly. So that if and when a new strain of flu, like the Spanish flu, crops up five years from now or a decade from now, we've made the investment. <laughs> but we so made nothing. We made no investment whatsoever. To catch it. Oh, shut up. I Drama this mind. morning, hearing screams from my neighbor's house. Yo, guys, in our black DNA, we don't call cops. I got an ass to from my dad for calling cops. I don't call cops. I've seen that. So is that for your family? You... Yeah, for the whole month. Yeah. yeah. You buy for three months. Oh, this is for your family? Yeah. Oh, okay. Is it possible to cancel this transaction? I'll take care of it. No, don't pay. I'll pay for you. Yes, just don't pay. Yeah, don't pay. Cancel. I'll pay for you. That is unbelievable. Yeah, it's on me. That is unbelievable. No, don't worry. I'll pay for you. It's unbelievable. <laughs> This is the kind of content I need to be yeah. seeing from South Africa. Yeah. Just catch it. <laughs> so is that's, so is that that's what we like to see. That is the content we like to see. Not content where people are killing each other. Not killing each other, shouting at each other and being mean and spreading negativity. I know I did that on my channel, one video and I got traction, but yeah. We just need to be spending, spreading positivity. My sister's laughing at me because she's, she's too, she's not emotionally strong enough to accept what I've just said. So she's laughing, thinking, ha ha ha, that's so lame. They'll hear you from there. You don't have to ASMR. Religion ASMR. Religion ASMR. Are you hearing it? No. Dean, it's definitely time to cut this, eh? <laughs> yeah, how long this video is, bro? 46 minutes. Yeah, why? Because it's why a podcast. Why do you film so long? As a... Who is this? You mustn't film this long, monks. Because I'm gonna watch it if it's this long, monkey. Fuck the <laughs> fuck off, you fucking fucking fuck. Get the fucking fuck away, you fucking fucking. Has remembered to subscribe. Oh, did you see this?
Halakha mm. halakha. Remember guys to subscribe to my channel. Shut up. I'm covering the microphone you can't talk into it. I was a girl in the village doing all right. Oh man, I can see how it looks. Really weird. Like, I saw this one stop. Um, and, you know, they started by saying how it is. And I was like, you know, maybe they pride themselves <laughs> like that saying it, how it is. How it is. How's it not very? They like brew their own coffee, which is like kind of cool. Um, they never say like, oh, you know, like Starbucks brew or whatever. Like it's my brew. So like, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, and then they just carried on talking about like this kind of freeze ice thing. I think it was like for their face or something. Freeze um, ice. And then like out of the blue, they just. Freeze us. Freeze us. Freeze us for their face. Yeses? No. Can't be. What's freeze us, man? Oh, fuck off. Freeze us. I think that like South African people talk really weird. Like, I saw this one TikTok. Freeze us. Um, and, you know, they Freeze started out. by saying how comments. it is. And I was like, you know, maybe they pride themselves on, like, them saying it how it is all the time. Um, yeah, I also think they, like, brew their own coffee, which it's is, like, kind of cool. Because um, they never say, like, oh, you know, like, Starbucks brew or whatever. Like, it's my brew. So, like, I don't know. Um, yeah, and then they just carried on talking about, like, this, like, freeze ice thing. I think it was, like, for their face or something. Um, I don't know, that's just gone over my head, I hate it. About, like, like, this is my country. Like, will or something. Like, what? I don't know, it's just like really random, it doesn't make sense to me. Okay, how's it my brew? So I have this Le Paz from Willie. <laughs> Le Paz! Oh yeah, for sure, like, I'm gonna be racist. Right? <laughs> from like, Willie. South African people are really weird. She did me, she <laughs> got me with that um, one. <laughs> and you know they started by saying how it is and i was like you know, maybe they pride themselves on like them saying women. it how it is continue with these podcasts let me know what you want to hear from me what you want to see from me if you want me to react to anything if you want me to discuss anything in particular if you want to be on the podcast hit me up and i will try to organize obviously it's going to be quite difficult while corona is running rampant in this fucking country, it is going apeshit. I think my dad went to go get tested um, because he's been working at the offices and it's just, just to be cautionate. And it's so hectic. Nobody knows what to do. Nobody knows what to do. Do the government know what to do? No. Do I follow politics? No. So do I know what to do? No. But what do we do? Do we release the economy? My only worry, my only particular worry is, first of all, my family. But I think we may just be fine because we're all pretty healthy, really. But the townships, the townships is a worry of mine because I'm just nervous with all the existing conditions that may be already in the townships like tuberculosis and and AIDS and whatever else pneumonia with all of that what happens when this hits the townships and I don't know how if it has yet or I heard it and may have been in the one township but that I heard this ages ago so it's just nervous it's very nervy irvy nervy irvy times and i don't know are we going to be piling up bodies god forbid excuse me <sighs> it's going to be hectic i don't know if someone knows what he wants to do i don't know what the anc are going to do about it we are about to we're losing so much money there's illegal cigarettes they are bad why, tobacco, why is tobacco still banned may i ask a question please Someone talk to me. Someone talk to me. I don't even smoke cigarettes. Why is tobacco still banned? Why is it a banned substance currently? I understand how harmful it is. But you cannot just up and just like... Bleh. Nope. Because you want to make some money. Nope. Cannot do that. We are people. We also live in a society. It needs to be fair. We need leadership. 
I don't know. Apparently we need next so much debt that we can't even count our two fucking toes. I don't know. We're probably going to become communists soon. The Chinese will take over and we need to take we need to take this country back. When I say we, I do not mean white people. I do not mean black people. I mean South Africans. I just need to get that straight. We need to control our own fucking shit. South Africans all across the board need to band together, understand that the ANC are doing nothing for this country. I want, I had a, I recently had a argument with a girl on TikTok. Seems to be doing that a lot. But there was a video about the South African economy by this one guy. Of this guy explaining that South Africa is in dire trouble. So, so much trouble that we may even lose hella value on our currency and some economic shit that I really don't understand because at the end of the day, I know nothing. So, um... And then one of the comments was, because of people like you, oh, at the end of the video he says, we need to really replace the ANC, it's getting, a ma it's becoming a massive concern to all South Africans. And there was a comment whereby the woman said, Mr. Anti-ANC, it is because of people like you, I will, we will continue to vote ANC. I rest my case. You have, you know, she was probably hurt by his video because they attacked the anti, but just use, use some logic. They're not doing anything. They promised houses years and years ago. Only a couple of those houses were built. Just, they're not doing anything for our country. She, and I replied to that comment. I was like, that's how our voters should think. That's a great thought mind, mindset for our voters to vote out of spite. And then, I, and then I put a comment saying, God save this country. And to which she responded, she said, please do not bring God into this. God saved us. Do you not remember apartheid? Viva ANC, viva. This bothered me because she called me Mr. DA. And even though I do vote for the DA, it just seemed very aggressive. Now, I don't obviously care what this woman has to think about me, but it was just the fact that she's like, it just didn't, like, like saying, do you remember apartheid? Of course I remember apartheid. How could I forget apartheid? But that doesn't, that can't be an excuse for the lack of, of correctional action the ANC has taken since gaining power to this country. I understand they implemented BEE, which to, for, for an idiot's opinion, hasn't really worked out to their, to, their, to their intentions. And it's sort of flipped the scale now. I'm not gonna be like, oh, that's why people aren't on the same level as you. But do you see how con it's a bit contrasting? But again, I'm not saying anything. I'm not saying anything. All I'm saying is that the ANC haven't taken much correctional action since in the last 25 years. And yes, the effects of apartheid are still present. But like I said two seconds ago, no correctional action has, ta has been taken. Maybe minimal, very minimal. If I'm wrong, please tell me. But... Twenty-five years is not a long time at all, but it's long enough to get the ball rolling. And all the ANC has done, all the ANC has done, is fold their pockets, fold positions with friends of friends, giving people jobs, incompetent people, people that don't actually know what they're doing, lack of educated people. Yes, that is a systemic problem that that that, that, that apartheid caused by not educating one half of the country, or well, half, not even half, more than half, majority, didn't offer proper education. But still, my point stands, no corrective action has taken place or 
has nothing has been corrected. The company is in the worst position than it was, but economically, in terms of human rights, we're in a fantastic position because all humans have rights in this country. Yes, correct. That's brilliant. But let's let's actually apply our minds to the economy and not be greedy. It's all greed at the end of the day. End of the day, it's greed. End of the day, it's greed. 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 Want more money? Greed. So, do you want more money? Greed. Greed. No, do you want some cigarettes? Greed. Climbing his do you want some cigarettes? Greed. All of it is greed. Okay. Before I say something that I will regret, I'm going to log off. I thought it was a nice time. You can see how many good followers I got. Oh, if you want to follow me on social media, guys. If you want to follow me on social media. I would very much appreciate it. Simply because it makes me look good. If this read a thousand Instagram followers, I would look good. If TikTok, guys, I'm close on TikTok, 200 followers away. My bio is a thousand followers by 2025, but I've done myself dirty with that goal because we could probably do that by the end of this year. So go to my TikTok, click follow, watch my videos, like them all. Unreal. For you fucking people to go to my fucking page and quick follow so I can get followers. But I don't know. I don't know, man. Anyway, I'm babbling. Babbling Brooks. I'm going to log off. Very informative podcast. As always, it's your boy. Bye-bye.